All right, so we've talked a little bit about some basics to modeling. Um, uh, we're going to talk about just how do you model um, something that's kind of uniform all around, something like a bottle or a jar or a vase. Um, so I'm right now in my perspective view, and I have downloaded an image uh, that is this right here. It's, I just downloaded it a second ago. I didn't save it as anything unique. But um, I brought it into my viewport by simple, simply dragging it in and releasing it, and that image will show up here. Um, you want to be in your front view, front camera, and what you want to do then is just go in here and grab your pen, if you're in Cinema 4D R18, and th the more clicks the better. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to start to just outline very quickly the outside of this bottle. And I really want to be exact because these will all come back to haunt you later if you don't do your due diligence now. And maybe even click and you can click and hold and pull down to curve this a little bit. Um, no, I don't like that because it's it's a little bit wonky. So. Get around the edge here. And get to somewhere at about the halfway point. All right, go up here and get back to my regular move tool. And now I've created this spline, which is basically half the bottle. And now you've got this incredible object called the lathe tool, where you just take it and you drag it in and we're not going to see it in this view um, unless we change the display to garage shading. And now your bottle is going to show up. And if we go back to perspective view, I now have mimicked that complete bottle. And I can now make it editable. And it's now one object. And now you can do something like, you know, take your selection tool. Um, Right now it's set to only select visible elements, but if I, well, what I can do is then go into my front view again here and uncheck that. So now as I drag through here, I know that everything in front and behind is getting selected. All right, so I just kind of paint over this. Let's just really grab it and we should have everything, for the most part, selected. I even want the stem. And I think I even went all the way up to the top, right? Because there's just a cork in there. Uh, yeah. Oops. If you ever select anything you don't want, just hold Command. Swipe over it. It's gone. Now we're going to create a material. We are going to keep reflectance on. However, we're going to need to go into transparency. And the refraction amount is 1.35 is roughly glass. And you can see over here what I've done. Maybe we want to add that. Nah, let's just leave that. And for now, we're going to drag that on to our object. And let's go back to our viewport. And let's take a look here what we got. Uh, how about I grab a light object and I'm going to Make sure that shadows are on and they're soft. And I'll give it a plane. I'll give it a floor. Drag everything up, make sure it's above my floor there. And let's see a preview of what we're looking at here. So pretty quickly, uh, we've got something that looks very much like a glass bottle. Um, I'm not sure why the light is shining like that, but it's probably because it's only seeing the top right now. But uh, you can see right there is if I want to add more effects like an ambient occlusion, it's going to look pretty good. Now we do have all these little curves. So what we want to do next time is maybe just use one point from here all the way to there and just drag it out. So if I do that real quick and I take my pen tool 
and I make the same. I'm gonna go quick here at the top. From here, I'm gonna go all the way to there and just bubble this out. Now we're gonna have something that actually looks like um, some smooth glass. And so now let's put this in a lathe. And voila, now you've actually got something that looks to be quite smooth. And we'll do the same thing, we'll make this editable. We will go back to this view. And we will go in here and we will select our live selection tool. We'll turn the radius up on that just to try to fly through this for you guys since I appreciate you tuning in. We'll select most of this. Now let's take our glass, chuck it on there, head on back into the perspective view and render. Now we've got a very clear looking piece of glass there with just this edge that I haven't messed with yet. So you'll have to kind of work on finding a material that you want to be your, um, your top cork here. But uh, for the most part, that's what it looks like to model that. And you can think of how many circular objects that you can model by using that lathe technique. And it's just a matter of getting comfortable and playing around. So please leave me any comments or questions if you have any. Thanks a lot.